Good morning. Welcome to Talking Shit. I'm D. Andre. Uh, today I am uh, paying respects to Trevon Martin, and I, I wanted to talk a little bit more about what it's like to actually be uh, treated as if you're not supposed to be, I, I guess. Uh, there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about, actually. Uh, first of all, uh, I we're hearing or getting reports that there's some preacher that uh, wants to take all the gay people and put them behind the gate that's electrified and um, take, I guess, and put these gay people in sort of a Hitler-type compound uh, and, and then electrify it and then feed them and kill them, and I guess poison them, or he said something about food, I, I was looking at it on the internet, and it's like, take the gay people, uh, and if they want to be married, that's fine, and just lock them all away, and then they'll eventually die off. Uh, these types of comments in 2012, based on, you know, people's fear and stuff, it's just really kind of sad, it's pathetically sad that the gay people are now being told that um, you're going to be put behind the fence and it's going to be electrified and then you're going to live there and die off there and you won't be breathing because gay people, I was listening to another commentator and I totally agree with him, he said that okay so gay people only breed gay people, gay people don't come from straight people, they all our offspring of gay people, I guess. I don't know. It's just I don't even really want to give this thing that much attention, but but it's more of an awareness that homophobia, bigotry, uh, attacking women, uh, uh, wanting children to stay ignorant so they can be a part of the social order. Uh, these things are sad. there's a sadness, and I like the way um, President Barack Obama talks about evolving. I mean, even if these ideas are coming from, from a total place of ignorance, there's enough education and real life experience out there for people to not have to be a racist, to not have to be uh, against women uh, earning the same amount of money as everybody else as far as men, men go. Uh, it, it, there's enough education and intelligence out there are in within uh, somewhere locked in ourselves if we can tap into it. I mean, this preacher looked like he was at least 50 to 60 years old, and you can hear people in the congregation while he was preaching this crap just sort of, amen, right on, you know, and then he made fun of uh, men kissing men and all of that. You know, my whole take on the gay marriage thing is if you're not a homosexual, or if you are straight, but you uh, uh, choose not to date or marry a gay person, then don't, right? If you're against gay marriage, don't marry a gay person. Uh, just because you're against something doesn't mean it shouldn't uh, or can't exist. I mean, that's a cartoon. Uh, uh, that's not real, you know. Get rid of things that I don't like forever, you know. Is this sort of a sort of a, a a fairy tale? So anyway, the reason why I love Barack Obama today is because he talks about evolving and changing. Um, some people say that my videos go on too long. That's the purpose of talking shit. It's long shit when it comes to the kind of ignorance that, that we're leaning against um, to fight back, you know. Um, and I like, this is my bedroom here. This is my place of uh, peace where I come and reach out to you and ask for your comments. Uh, give me something to talk about, you know. If you don't like the shit I'm talking, then... Send me your shit and I'll talk it. <laughs> you know, uh, I just feel that Trevon Martin died in, 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 in complete and total, un, un, just, it was an unnecessary murder. I believe that gay people have the right 
to uh, be a part of this world. That's why they're here. Um, <laughs> you know, and I believe that bullying people into some sort of a, a, a internment camp and then electrifying the fence is a bad idea. I think I consider it a threat. Um, I, I consider this guy to be uh, dangerous because, yeah, on the grand scheme of things, maybe he can't round up all the gay people and make them go into a fence and burn them. But what kind of uh, individual response and or reaction is he having in the community with gays? Um, keep an eye on that guy, you know? Shit. I don't, I don't want to get rounded up and put in a cage and, 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 and electrified because my uh, hair is a little matted dread or because I wear black glasses and the trend is white glasses or I want to put a hoodie on because my ears are cold or I want to be treated as though um, I wasn't uh, traded or sold, you know. This uh, hatred is getting old, you know. Uh, it's hard to be sociologically out in the cold, you know. Why don't we just take a look at all this shit and give it one big fold, you know, because it's turning into kind of a sociological mold. Uh, don't you understand what uh, has already been told, you know? All of this BS is getting kind of old, you know. I mean... <laughs> you you don't catch me rapping, see? I rap, you know. I think rap is a, a, a major. Rap is the grandfather of talking shit, you know. <laughs> Evolve, please, you know. As I get, I'm gonna sign off. Evolve. I'm on my way to a friend's graduation. He evolved, you know. Um, Evolving is really important because what that means is change. And somewhere I heard that change is the most constant thing in the universe. And to see these Republicans fighting change and fighting uh, the evolution of our country um, and, and to use religiosity as the cage of, 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 of holding back our, 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 our evolution is, is sad, you know. And, and, and what I occupied this morning is the ability to change, man, to see something else besides what I think I really see, to use my imagination to cope with reality, to be free, to see that Barack Obama is a part of this uh, transition, you know, into a, a greater mission, you know. Uh, it's more important than any kind of uh, uh, philosophical permission that we need from someone who's on a special uh, a special agenda to, to, to keep down the people who really know how to keep us around, who really understand how we have to grow in love and grow in change and grow in uh, uh, transparency. You know, Barack Obama can't be controlled by Wall Street. Barack Obama is not here to be a pet uh, poodle for Main Street. You know, Barack Obama is, like I've said, on the block, though. He's on the block. You know, he's involved. You know, uh, we need to reelect this man. Um, we need to give him a, an opportunity to continue to get us out of this jungle, man. This sociological morass of BS that, that, that a lot of people profit from. You know, a lot of people profit from us uh, being uh, non-profit. Uh, when we don't make a profit, when we don't make a sociological profit uh, uh, and, and get a payback uh, with love, man, when we're hating and hiding food and treating each other uh, really, really rude, you know, the whole idea is crude, man. You know, don't be a fool. You know, be 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 a part of, of the people who talk shit and exercise the freedom of speech to to to, to 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 let others know that 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 love is within our reach. You know, uh, don't preach hatred. You know, if you're afraid of gay people, uh, that means you're afraid of gay people. You know, it doesn't mean that gay people aren't allowed to exist. You know, don't be an idiot. 
you know, be a, be, a, be a transmitter of love, you know, try to figure out how to tap into the universe, man, there's something going on here, you know, and we're not going to forget Trevon Martin, you know, we're not just going to forget Martin Luther King, you know, uh, the idea of women wanting something other than, than, than knowing how to clean, you know, those things are gone, man, there's a change in the scene. You know, um, and people who are afraid of that, you know, maybe we can help them by by not um, by not acting like that. So you know, I don't know. I just went on a rant. I, I go off on it because I believe in living, man. And every time I see Barack Obama's face, I know that there's a chance. You know, there's a chance. You know, um, and I'm really glad about it that we get a chance to not be so full of shit. And part of not being so full of shit is to get it out, man, and talk shit. You know? <laughs> Once again, I have come in and I am check checking out. Uh, thank you. I will broadcast tomorrow as usual. Uh, if I'm alive and loose and willing and ready, uh, please send me your comments, man. Give me something to talk about. Can't you see my shit gets boring sometimes? <laughs> Once again, this is DeAndre. You know, peace, brother. Talking for Trayvon. Asking everybody to hold on, man. There's something going on. You know, there's plenty to see besides being ran around by Mitt Romney. You know, we want to see more than that. That we've already seen that. We got the, 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 the statistics to prove it. We've already seen everything he's talking about. But when it comes to the first black president, we just look forward. Because we don't know what this brother going to do. But we know it's going to be better than the shit they took us to. You know? Uh, a couple of years ago. People forget, man. But I, I remember. Thank you. <laughs>